I'm Mike Quinn. I've been an entomologist for 20 years, and we're here in Austin, Texas, talking about what do bed bugs look like. They're um, a true bug that's about uh, three to nine millimeters long, so they're uh, quite small, and they're um, typically found in clusters. They're uh, somewhat communal in that regards, and typically find them in bedrooms. Um, on the beds, uh, typically in the folds of the mattress. And so if you um, go to a hotel room, uh, you might want to pull back uh, the sheets all the way down to the mattress itself and look there for um, any uh, small uh, insect clusters. And uh, sometimes um, after they've uh, fed on the host, a, a person, uh, as they digest the blood meal, they'll, um, uh, there'll be some red discharge there. So if you see any red spots, that's an uh, indication that bed bugs have been there or may still be in the area. Um, obviously, you want to get a different room, if not a different hotel, if, that, uh, if you do find bed bugs. Um, they're very difficult to control, uh, so it's best to um, identify them and, and don't open your luggage until you find um, until you're sure that the room is okay. Um, and there's uh, been a resurgence of bed bugs and don't really know uh, why this is, but it might be due to more traveling and such. Um, but um, they're uh, flattened uh, bugs that have um, uh, very small uh, wings uh, or, or wing buds, uh, as they're sometimes referred to. And um, they're uh, flattened until they take a blood meal, then they uh, swell up uh, to a degree, not quite like a tick, but uh, um, small size of uh, um, critters in a little cluster in the mattress area is uh, uh, generally what a bed bug looks like.